This environment promotes hard work. When you hear pit ironworks, you think it's tough, it's gritty. There's a standard that has to be held. At the end of the day, you gotta move the weight. They see the sign that says Iron Works and they understand. It's great working for Coach Stack. I say work for, but it's really working with him. I mean, it's a really collaborative environment. It's his personality, it's his intelligence, it's his ability to relate to the players. You know when you come in the weight room, Coach Stack means business. He can also let his wall down and have a normal conversation with you, and he's not in, in character. I feel like as a staff, you know, we really work well together. There's nothing we wouldn't do to help each other out. You know, in, in the weight room, you might be assigned with one coach, but that doesn't mean you're not going to be coached by everyone in here. Being part of the Ironworks here is uh, it's a huge responsibility with the amount of great professionals that have came through. I knew about Buddy Morris, the legendary figure that he is in strength and conditioning, but about the Ironworks and how he started it, I had no clue until I got here. It's a great honor to be able to carry on that legacy that Coach Morris started so long ago. The scientific principles that go into the training process really haven't evolved much. The technology that has came in and opened our eyes on how we utilize and implement those principles has. We do a lot with technology. Catapult is kind of the big name out there. You guys want to know how fast they're going. Um, that's pretty cool to be able to see miles per hour. Inside the weight room, we have 10 units that we're able to track the guys. Bar speed. It's always a great competition in the weight room. Who's moving it faster? Who has the most intent? You know, you can have all the fancy technology, all the bells and whistles, but none of that means anything unless you put on your hard hat, come in here and work every day. And what we tell guys is we don't want to make you a bodybuilder. We want to make you a better football player. These guys aren't machines. You know, they're high-level athletes, but at the end of the day, they're people, and we train people. Everything that we do in here, um, starting from the top to bottom, it starts with trust and relationships. It's very easy to tell a kid he has four by five today, but the important part is, is understanding that kid, understand what motivates that young man and, and helps develop him. You know, if they understand that you care about them and that you have their best interests in heart, they're gonna work harder, you know, and then the numbers are gonna take care of themselves. 